close my good eye and I put my hand like this, my hand's gone. 57-year-old Margie Schuler has trouble with her eyesight. If I'm ladling out soup into a bowl, I've poured it right on my hand before. I've poured coffee right on my hand before. Schuler has ocular histoplasmosis. That's scary, really, really scary. Histoplasmosis is a fungal infection that can affect your lungs, but occasionally the spores can travel up to your eyes. These are little histoplasmosis scars. Dr. Michael Howcroft is a retina specialist at Eye Surgeons Associates. Ocular histoplasmosis syndrome is a condition that um, is fairly prevalent in the Midwest. He sees a small but steady amount of patients with ocular histoplasmosis, an infection that creates scars on the retina. If they do activate and you get one of these little blood vessels growing underneath the scar, then they can leak fluid or cause hemorrhaging and can have an effect on the vision. They can also lead to a scar like this that can, when it's in the very center, uh, take away the central vision. That's what's happening to Schuler. Your central vision is the part that's really sharp. And it's impacting her quality of life. Like if I shut my good eye right now, I won't even see you. She rarely gets behind the wheel of a car anymore. When I hit the garage, that kind of did it for me. And I was backing out, and um, I just, my mirror hit the side of the garage. Schuler will drive a few blocks to the grocery store, but that's pretty much all she's comfortable with. Like 9 o'clock in the morning when everybody's at work and, you know, there's little traffic. So, yeah, it's just it's scary. I've hit signs in parking lots. I've never hit a car. Her vision is distorted and her depth perception is off. To her, passing cars and trucks look like they're about to crash into her. The semi's coming past, and then when it gets where it's up by us, it looks like the end of it's going over the hood of the car. Schuler says she has one good eye right now, her left, allowing her to read and watch TV. This one's a bad eye. She's worried that soon they will both be bad eyes. A recent scan shows new deterioration in her left eye. I just cried all day. And I couldn't eat for a couple of days. If she loses central vision in that good eye, Schuler will only be able to see what's in her periphery. Maybe I wouldn't really be able to see what anybody looked like. And I definitely wouldn't be able to read. Still, Schuler is working hard to stay positive even if she does lose central vision in both eyes. I'll still be able to look out the window and see blue sky. I'll still be able to see color and light. And that's what Schuler is focusing on as she battles this environmental attack. Morgan Otier, KWQC-TV 6 News.